There are also anomalies with the conventional model that you'll typically not find in your historical geology textbook. For example, consider that the very presence of the hematite and the magnetite in banded iron is itself an indicator of an oxygenated atmosphere. Yet banded iron formations predate the great oxidation event by a billion years. We're told that this early BIF formation was possible because even though there was no oxygen in the atmosphere, there was a little bit of oxygen in the oceans that came from the growth of those Archean stromatolites. So it was only later, given the mass production of paleoproterozoic oxygen from stromatolites, that led to the oxygenation of the atmosphere. I don't know, but is it possible that this account is nothing more than an ad hoc explanation constructed to help bolster the great oxidation event?